Right, so today's video is all about Silica, Silica's new hot wax, which claims it's half a watt quicker than its old one. And the big thing is that it has a longer application window. It says 800 kilometers. Now, 800 kilometers for a wax chain is mad. So obviously I sell my own wax chains, link below and all the rest of it. But this isn't a video about my stuff. This is a video all about Silica. So 300 grams of solid wax costs $165 to 200 euros or like 220 quid, I think it is, or something stupid. Anyway, it's outrageously expensive. And the reason it is, is because it's got graphene in it. And obviously everyone enjoys graphene quite a lot. Um, and he says it's really good. He, he calls it nanine because it's nano. Um, but anyway, what we're going to go through is some interesting data about old silica stuff and see if it actually is still relevant. The other thing is that it is free of polyfluoroalkyne substances such as Teflon and PTFE, which is probably quite good because PTFE not the best thing in the world, right? So anyway, we're going to go over to, well, okay, we'll go over to silica, this website, which is Zero Friction Cycling, absolute G, sorts you out. So this is all about contamination. And he says the silica hot melt is better than molten speed wax, which is obviously generally seen as a gold standard. You can see the wear here is really, really low. And what you'll see is the stuff that he's gives it to, like this is the sort of setup, like look how dirty everything is, but look how clean the chain is. Now that really shows um, that the wear is minimal, which shows that it is very long lasting. So he reckons the old stuff, obviously this is the old stuff, not the new stuff, is really long lasting. So I think that probably is pretty exciting. Um, he goes on to say that the reason um, it's so good is because the wax it uses is really, really cheap and all the rest of it. So uh, it's not cheap and it's super expensive, which is fair enough. But anyway, if we go over here, you can see he's got more data um, from loads of different stuff, to be fair, uh, about the speed of chains um, and how it basically the wear rate also changes depending on what he uses. But he's a big fan of it. Um, but we're going to go over to see uh, potentially why I think the what saving is is not too important. So here is the, the drip lubes. This is obviously sponsored by Ceramic Speed, but actually it's sort of irrelevant. So you can see the UFA drip is first, then squirt, um, and all the rest of obviously wax-based lubes are quicker. But what we're going to go over to and see is actually the sort of gains we can get just from using paraffin wax. Now this is paraffin wax is faster than almost anything. And obviously that's because it's immersive. When you clean the chain properly and immerse it, it's super, super quick, which is known. So when they say it's half a watt quicker, I just don't know what, what sort of testing they're doing because it gets to the point where, you know, how can a drivetrain save even more? So again, you can see here are some of the, some of the other uh, tests that they do, which is the longevity test. Again, you can see um, that paraffin wax is really, really good. Um, now, I guess the question you're going to ask, though, is, you know, how quick is molten speed wax, which is obviously a comparison that we have on the other part, which is here. So this is super low, right, molten speed wax. I just don't know how they're getting another half watt off the mold, off silica, which is already apparently quicker than that. So it does get to the point where you just think this is unbelievable. Um, I just don't understand how they keep saying it's quicker. Um, and I'd say, okay, fair enough, maybe it lasts really long. And you'll see here um, that, you know, Molten Speed Wax um, and Silka is pretty similar in a lot of his, his charts. But it does come to the point where you're like, how is it so expensive? Now, obviously, you know, he's not going on Amazon and finding paraffin wax. But I'll, I can show you when you do Google paraffin wax, the sort of cost we're looking at. So this is a kilo and it costs £10. Now, okay, you know, it's for candles and all the rest of it but it's still pretty low oil content, which is what you want. Now, the other thing that he talks about is what's in it, so which is graphene. Okay, they don't use molybdenum disulfide anymore, and also tungsten disulfide seems to be on the way out. Um, I'm pretty sure actually on one of these slides, I do have um, the comparison between molybdenum and tungsten disulfide, which is an interesting idea. So here's the coefficient of friction of different ones. So often people use micro PTFE or nano PTFE, uh, generally, sub three micron uh, meters is what you want. Um, they just use a sieve to, to tell it. And then there's micro tungsten disulfide and nano tungsten disulfide down here um, with molybdenum disulfide used up here. So you can see the coefficient of friction is very low, um, hence why you should always use tungsten disulfide in your wax if you create it yourself, which is you know common knowledge and pretty good. PTFE can also be added as well. 
um, as a double, as sort of as an extra point, not as essential. However, I believe molten speed wax may potentially only use tungsten disulfide. However, what we're going to go see is how much lower is the friction coefficient. Um, so if you don't know what friction coefficient, which I assume you probably do, it's basically just like a way of quantifying uh, friction. It's unitless, um, hence why it's a coefficient and not anything else. But anyway, I just don't think the t that it can be that much better, the graphene. Um, and I also, I just think, okay, maybe it's pretty good that it can do 800 kilometers. But I generally find with wax that the issue is when it rains. And I don't think that's going to change. I think it might just be good. Like if you're doing an 800 kilometer, 24 hour TT, maybe, maybe this is useful. But otherwise, I'm not going to lie. I just can't understand how it's so expensive. You can see here, 300 grams, 200 dollars. $48, 500 grams. So 500 grams of wax packs, that's that's pretty expensive to be honest. But still, fair enough, you know, some research has gone into it. It's probably slightly better grade paraffin wax um, than you'd buy on Amazon here. Um, and obviously tungsten disulfide. But again, that's like, I can get that for like seven pounds, sorry, 14 pounds for 100 grams of uh, tungsten disulfide. So like, again, not that expensive. So I guess the question really is like, what um, what is the benefit and is it worth four times the cost probably not that'll be my verdict uh, but anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy this deep dive into some friction facts and the like uh cheers for watching and i'll see you in the next one